Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Mario Strike Battle League Football on Ryujinx emulator because Yuzu is still not working. I tried some testing so we're going to do a tutorial for Ryujinx again and once it is playable on Yuzu I will make a tutorial on that but yeah the game is very new. I don't know when to expect it yet. Now anyways you don't need any Patreon version just get Ryujinx from ryujinx.org and download the latest build. And after you've done that, we're going to boot up Ryujinx. It will be in the folder. I just made a shortcut. For the rest, you'll need the firmware, the broad keys, obviously the game and the crash fix. So uh, yeah, get those. The links are down below. If they don't work for you, join my Discord server. And if you have any issues or questions, also join my discord server we have a emulator help room don't spam general chat go to the help room but yeah anyways before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if this works for you after the tutorial of course so uh, yeah let's get right into it we open up riot jinx in here it will say keys not found now click ok you will be greeted into this screen now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file and open Ryujinx folder. Now in here, go to the system folder and paste the prod.keys file in here. So I'm gonna just drag it in here and then we should be good. Now to be sure, I'm gonna restart Ryujinx. So I'm gonna close it and open it again. And after we've started Ryujinx again, we're gonna install the firmware because unlike Yuzu, Ryujinx does need the firmware. So we're going to go to tools and install firmware from a XCI or zip. Now, once you have clicked that, find the firmware zip file and press open. It will ask you install this firmware. Do you want to continue? Yes. And it will say it has been successfully installed. Now press OK. I'm not sure if we have to restart Ryujinx again. If you want to restart Ryujinx to be sure, uh, do it. I'm going to do it just to be sure. Now that we've got the firmware and the prod keys successfully installed, let's add our game folder. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to options and then settings. Now in the settings, in the first screen, you'll have game directories here. So press add here and find your game folder. So the game folder that the file is in, not the file itself. So press add. And while we're in here, we're going to go to input and configure player one. Make sure dock mode is enabled. And in here, I'm going to choose my Xbox One S controller and I'm going to bind all the keys to my liking. I'm going to enable rumble, which is the controller vibrations. And now that I've put all the controls in here, I actually want to play with a pro controller. So after you do this, you can click on add. I'm going to name this one Xbox because of my Xbox controller. And I'm going to click save. Now we're not done yet because if you don't have any issues in some games, it might be a good thing to expand the DRAM size to six gigabytes. Now don't do this right now, but only if everything works, just figure that out outside of testing this. So don't use it right now. Now under graphics, make sure this is kind of all on automatic and native for the testing. I have faith, so I'm going to put it on 2X. So 1440p to 4K. Keep in mind, if you don't have the best specs, then don't do this. You do need a dedicated graphics card and your CPU must be all right in terms of speed. Yeah, just check on their website what the minimum specs are. Now I'm going to keep the rest on auto because it will pick which is most stable. And then we're going to click apply and save and as you can see all my games are in here but before we can actually open the game remember we need to add the crash fix so right click on mario strikers battle league in ryjinx and go to open mods directory now in this folder drag the mario strikers crash fix dot rar or dot zip or whatever you got it from use winrar or 7zip to extract it and choose extract here now you can get rid of the .rar or .zip file and in this folder we're going to find this exact folder with the 0, 1, 0, 0, etc, etc. We're going to copy this folder, we're going to get out and we're going to go to contents and basically paste right here. Now in the folder there will be a ROM FS folder and that will be 
the crash fix mod. So now we can close out of it and we can actually start the game. But before we do that, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below if this worked for you so people know it's real because YouTube turned off dislikes. And make sure to subscribe, we're on our way to 40k. Join my Discord server if anything doesn't work or if you just want to chat with me and others. Let me try to show you some of the game because I don't want to get claimed. And uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so without guys, peace.